Hello there, what's up and how are you? This is Abdullah from Self Engineered and back again with another video. So in the last video we have talked about how you can draw a pentagon and we kind of made like some weird shapes over here and then uh, yeah. So we kind of have a problem here. So what if we actually want to draw some countless number of pentagons? Does that mean that we have to copy this code? every time we want to draw a pentagon so in fact actually yeah we have to let's see that again I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and then I'm gonna copy this whole thing again and paste it here again so what if I run this I will have to uh, run this all over again this code every time I want to uh, draw a shape yeah yeah some weak shapes right here but what if we don't want that huh what if we don't want to keep drawing this what do we do so introducing functions my friends um, and how you can make a function let's actually just delete all this here this one we don't want it anymore and how you can do functions in Python is that you just do define wait, define and then the name of your function I'm gonna call it square because we are gonna make a, a square and then hit tab and you need to make sure you do the proper iteration here so I'm gonna hit tab here so that the square is this code here. Actually, this is not square. It's a it's a pentagon. I just call it shape, lah. Shape. Okay. Uh, I don't need to save that. And if I run this, nothing is going to happen. You know why? Because I will have to call the function shape in order for me to actually draw my shape outside okay so I'm gonna do I'm just gonna call the, the name of the function shape just like that and this will actually call the function and just now we noticed that the arrow was very slow so if you want to make it faster we can just say arrow dot speed and here we just give it a number 1 is the slowest and 10 is the fastest I think I'm gonna just give it 6 I don't want it to be very fast so I wanna see how does it go so let's just run this and see we draw a pentagon but then if we wanna draw another one we don't have to do this once again we can just um, we can just uh, type shape again then we can draw another pentagon if we hit this you see draw one then directly draw the second one below it yeah it's kind of weird but yeah we are getting the hang of it so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we are gonna even go more and reduce this uh, repeating pattern here with another uh, concept of programming uh, that's it for this video and see you in the next video.